I do apologize. I'm still learning all of this, and my camera keeps cutting out, and I don't, I don't know why. So anyway, uh, bring it I'm here, and I want to get started before uh, the camera starts playing more tricks on me. Uh, so, uh, my goal is just to have fun with you all and, and connect with you uh, during these challenging times we're having. I got my pumpkin cup here, and I enjoy that. Another thrift store find. You'll find I, I love my thrift stores. Uh, looking around, you'll see a lot of things here that are from the thrift store. I love just picking up things and repurpose things. I, I love trash to treasure type of uh, creations. I like taking something old and used and brighten it up with a coat of paint or a nail or a screw here and there and making something purposeful again out of it. It's kind of fun for us. And we do a lot of that and I'm hoping to show you a lot of that through my videos. So uh, again, I want to get started because uh, the day, it's nice, it's a nice day here in New England, and uh, don't want to lose that time uh, with uh, chit-chat and that, but although chit-chatting is nice, so let me have a sip of my coffee, and I hope that you're all having a good day as well, and that uh, the good Lord has been good to you, and uh, that you're feeling blessed as I am today, okay? Let me have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you the pumpkin project. Can you all see here? Jeez. Okay, see the leaf? Uh, the leaf that we did, uh, I did, came out nicely. See how the inside mimics the uh, the inside of that leaf nicely? That was a hosta leaf. So I want to take uh, sandpaper or something to the sides. Uh, that's what we're going to do and work on that. Paint it up. Now, uh, over here... I don't know if you can see that. Am I showing you? I really gotta get that. I'm gonna bring the pumpkin project closer so that you can see it. Oh, that's the train. There is a train across the road over there that comes by. It reminds me of the old days, like Petticoat Junction. I love it. Some of you may not, and I apologize for that, but I do have a train. Okay, this is heavy, and I don't need it to fall on me. <laughs> all right, so with all of that, see how nice that is? And those are, that's cement. I put cement into knee highs and filled it up and tied string up around it and um, let them dry nicely, painted them with the orange, um, yellow and red paint mix. And then I adorned them with some nice fall accents. A little straw for the top. I had a little hole in there, so I stuck them in there. It's all hot glued, and on the hot glue I took paint, and uh, the orange paint just tried to paint over any glue spots. And it's a lovely table decor. And again, you could make them a little bit bigger or uh, in with cement and do the same thing and make door stops, fall door stops. Um, that would be nice. Anything. Uh, but again, they're made with cement. They're heavy. So don't get your kids playing with them and drop them on their toes because they're not toys. They are definitely the camera again. <laughs> I'm still learning. So uh, bear with me. I will get it. But all this technology... And learning the different uh, ways that you um, work the camera and the tripods and all that is new to me. So uh, I apologize for any any waviness or whatever. All right. So 
I have a couple pairs of gloves here. I'm not the, my messy old gloves on, but they come in handy. And normally you'll find I wear an apron because uh, I like my tools right at my grip, but with pockets in the front. But I, I don't have it on today because um, I wanted to just uh, free myself. It's a little heavy at times, but uh, and, and be able to work here with not having that bulkiness in front of me. But I do like wearing an apron. Uh, when I'm working on cement or, you know, or to have my hammer or tools or um, my gloves or something nearby, I like to have those pockets. And so I have some sandpaper and I have a Dremel tool, several of them too, which I can use. But I got a box, a little box under this tray box. And I'm going to just talk with you and work on sanding it down. So let's just see if I can get you to see what I'm doing. And this is messy. If I had the Dremel going, it would be flying bits all over because I had it going a little earlier. So I'm, I'm just trying to rough it up and get some of these rough edges where um, the paint, uh, the cement is just loose or you know, dry. You'll see that I do have the wavy. That's where I purposely put things under it when I was creating it so that it would give it that wavy look that I'm looking for. Be fun. And again, it doesn't have to be a bird bath. It can be a large bird feeder. You can throw bird seed right in this. The birds would probably love it. So it doesn't have to necessarily be for um, water. 